Good morning, friends. Teacher Lori here. I hope you're having a good day. We have a really silly book today. We've read the first one, The Wonky Donkey. And guess what? He had a baby, The Dinky Donkey. By Words by Craig Smith and illustrations by Katz Cowley. So we're going to read that today. I hope you're having a very good morning, enjoying your breakfast, and maybe parents have had some coffee. If not, go do that right now. Um, are you getting ready to start some schooling for the day? Um, or go for a walk outside, uh, social distancing, of course, you know, six feet from other people, and just enjoy your day. I think that's kind of what we're on the same path for it, too. Uh, maybe you're going to cook in the kitchen with your parents, make some cookies or noodles or salad. How about a just simple PBJ or sun butter? What else? Maybe write a card to someone who needs it. Have a call. Do a Zoom class. Watch this show. Anyway, let's get our circle time hands ready. Put your hands up. Put your hands down. Pound them very slowly, pound them very fast. Put your hands up, put your hands down. Make a sunshine slowly, make a sunshine slowly. We're going to do breaths in, slow sunshine breathing. Put them in your lap. So, the dinky donkey. The dinky donkey. Wonky donkey had a child. It was a little girl. Hee haw. She was so cute and small. She was a dinky donkey. Wonky donkey had a child. It was a little girl, hee-haw. She was so cute and small. And she had big, beautiful eyelashes. You bet your eyelashes. She was a blinky, dinky, donkey. Wonky donkey had a child. It was a little girl, hee-haw. She was so cute and small. And she had beautiful, long eyelashes. And she loved to listen to rowdy music. She was a punky, blinky. Dinky Donkey. Wonky Donkey had a child. It was a little girl. Hee haw. She was so cute and small, and she had long, beautiful eyelashes, and she liked to listen to rowdy music. And she painted her hooves bright pink. My glasses. She was an inky, pinky, punky, blinky, dinky donkey. Wonky Donkey had a child. It was the little girl. He huh. She was so cute and small. She had beautiful long eyelashes. She liked to listen to rowdy music. She painted her hooves bright pink. And she had to go pee pee. She was a winky tinky, inky pinky, punky blinky dinky donkey. She wasn't listening to her body, was she? Wonky Donkey had a child. It was a little girl. He huh. She was so cute and small. She had big, beautiful, long eyelashes. She loved to listen to rowdy music. She painted her hooves bright pink, and she had to go pee-pee. And she loved to play the piano. She was a plinky, plonky, winky, tinky, inky, pinky, punky, blinky, dinky, donkey. <laughs> Wonky donkey had a child. It was a little girl. Hee-haw. She was so cute and small. She had big, beautiful eyelashes. She liked to listen to rowdy music. She painted her hooves bright pink. She had to go pee pee. She loved to play the piano and she wore wild sunglasses. She was a funky, plinky, plonky, winky, tinky, inky, pinky, punky, blinky, dinky, donkey. She's got glasses on like me. Wonky donkey had a child. It was a little girl, hee haw. She was so cute and small. She had bright, long, beautiful eyelashes. She liked to listen to rowdy music. She painted her hooves bright pink. She had to go pee pee. She liked to play the piano. Oh, she loved to play the piano. She wore wild sunglasses and she smelt just as bad as her dad. She was a stinky, funky, plinky, plonky, winky, tinky, inky, pinky, punky, blinky, dinky, donkey. 
Wonky Donkey had a child. It was a little girl. Hee haw, hee haw. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like it. I hope today you have a great day. And I thought, let's sing a song while we have a couple minutes. How about, let's see. Way up high in the sky. Teacher Lori forgot what the words were. Sometimes I make mistakes. Other adults make mistakes too. I'll have to figure out what I was going to go with that. I'll have to remember. Hmm. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. That one I remembered. <laughs> Clearly, Teacher Lori needs another cup of. <gasps> yes, if you said coffee, you know me so well right now. I'm so glad you're my friend. Okay, everybody, let's catch our bees today. Bzz, they're up high. Bzz, they're down low. Bzz, they're over that way. Bzz, they're over that way. Bzz, they're in front of you. Bzz. Got them? How many in your hand? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Oh, I let them go. <gasps> Got them again. Do you have five? Do you have 10,000? Do you have one? Do you have zero? So I can catch him again. Ready? Bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Ouch! It stung me. Talking to my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? Talking to my baby bumblebee. They said what? Tell me. Mm -hmm. Again, more. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Good. Thank you. I did what? Mm -hmm. Let go of my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I let go of my baby bumblebee. They're happy to be free. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please be good. Help parents do wonderful things. Help with laundry. You can fold towels, help with dishes. Maybe you can help load the dishwasher. Make sure to ask your mom and dad first or your grandparents, whoever is in your family. Maybe you could stir something for dinner or you could help take care of feed your animals. Maybe help feed the cat some new water or food. Do something today to help someone else or give your mom and dad and parents a break. Can you do that for me? Thumbs up if you can do that for me. Thank you. Love you. I miss you. Thank you for joining me for story time today and I'll see you next time.